In today's video, we're going to talk about some of the live features of the Taser JL. Just to name a few, we have Auto Park Kill, Hood Alarm, Turn Cam, and Nav in Motion. Let's get to it. We're here in a Wrangle Rubicon 392, and we're going to cycle through all the live setting menu options of the Taser JL. Now, the Taser has a ton of features and menu options and new features coming out and firmware updates and all that. But for today's video, we're just gonna focus on the live settings. The first thing you wanna do is obviously install your Taser, which is an easy plug and play. With your foot on the brake, hit the ignition, turn on your vehicle. To access your Taser menu, you're gonna be on the audio screen, as you can see here, and then you're gonna hold down your left arrow, cruise cancel to access the Taser menu. So now when you see light show, you're on the taser menu. Hit cancel again to cycle through to the next one where you'll find live settings. Hit your center cruise control button while still holding down your left arrow to enter this menu. Now the first menu option that you see here is brake hold. We're gonna turn that on by still holding down our left arrow and then hitting okay, the center button, and that will cycle it on. There is a few parameters that come in play when using brake hold. One of those being you need your seatbelt on. So I'm gonna put my seatbelt on and then show you how this works. Currently in park, but when I go to drive, you see here, you see the brake light come on, see the ABS light come on. That's telling us that brake hold is now on. I'm still in the taser menu, so it's showing that it's on. Press the brake pedal firmly down to the floor and then you can remove your foot from the pedal. I'm in drive and our Wrangler is not moving. So that's perfect, brake hold works. Watch what happens when I take my seatbelt off though. Brake hold disengages. Some people would say that's an issue, that's a safety thing. We added brake hold. Jeep didn't add it, this isn't a manufacturer addition. Use it in its correct parameters. Your seatbelt needs to be on for brake hold to function. This is not a replacement for your e-brake, so please use it wisely. Let's move on to the next setting. So after brake hold, we have our next option here. Home link coincides with these buttons here on your visor. And that has to do with your garage door opener. We have a few options here. And what this actually does is it will keep your garage door opener powered even after the vehicle is shut off. So you have a few options as you can see for the first one. Obviously you can not have this on and have it be off. Our second option here is IGN meaning ignition. That'll last about 30 seconds after the shutdown of your vehicle. And then the last option here is door. So what door will do is you'll have 30 seconds after shutdown or while your door is open with the alarm disarmed. Next in our feature list, we have in motion, which we're gonna turn that on. In motion is another cool one, but also another one that you need to be careful with because it does involve your safety. From the factory, your navigation is disabled when the car is moving. To use in motion, you're actually gonna be able to use your navigational system while the vehicle is in motion. Now it even says in the manual, let a passenger use this and use it to your own discretion. Now this is what happens when we shut off in motion nav. If you're going over about five miles per hour and you go to input an address, it actually won't allow you and this notification will come up. Okay, going to live settings, in motion on. Now our next menu option is turn cam. This is easily a favorite of our Jeep community. So let's turn that on and I'll show you what that is. When you turn on one of your blinkers, your reverse camera will come up. So we have our right blinker on, same thing for our left blinker. Turn the left blinker on and a reverse camera comes up. Of course, you need a vehicle that has a reverse camera for this to work. So our next menu option is Kill 3 Hunt. Now this is off and is going to remain off because this vehicle doesn't have that feature or the feature that we shut off. So we made a whole video about that, which you could watch here. Some of the newer Jeeps and Rams have it where if your car is running, the keys in your pocket, you exit the vehicle and close the door, it honks at you three times. And some people found that really annoying, so we added this feature to eliminate that from happening. But this vehicle doesn't have it, so I can't really show you how that works, but we did make a whole video on that. So the next one we have here is hood alarm. Essentially, your alarm will trigger when this is turned on. Your alarm will trigger as well as a light show will go off 
if your hood is open. So now that that's on, we can shut off our car. We can take the key. This also has a few parameters. Now, the first thing you need to do is lock your car. If it's not locked, this will not work. Then you have to wait about 30 seconds or so. Now, this is one to remember because even if you have your key on you, this feature can still trigger. That was about 30 seconds. Now let's start tampering with the hood. We'll unlock this side. We'll unlock this side and get ready. Your alarm goes off, a light show goes off. Now everybody knows that your hood was opened. And now you can just lock that up to shut that off. Next on our list, pin lock. So pin lock is our newest feature. You can essentially add a one to six digit pin into your screen here. And if somebody does not enter the pin correctly, the vehicle brakes are gonna lock up and the light show is gonna go off. As you can see here, this is our pin lock feature, which is counting down. And if you don't enter your pin in time, the vehicle will lock up and you can't move. You can just enter your pin by using your cruise control buttons and whatever pin you entered into the taser menu. There will be much more coming out for this feature in a future update. And in fact, it will be removed from the live settings and put into its own menu, which you may have seen earlier in this video, labeled security and pin. Now our next setting option is auto part kill. Now this is another cool one, especially for the Jeep community when you're off-roading. The default of the Jeep is if you're in drive and then you open your door, the Jeep will slam into park. Let's go to drive. I don't have my taser auto park kill on. So now I'm going to slowly move, open my door and it slams into park, which is why the drive is flashing because we're actually in park. Close my door. Let's turn on the taser's auto park kill. Go to drive, start driving, rolling away. I open the door and I can still move right into this dumpster, which is a very handy feature if you're an off-roader, because sometimes you wanna open your door, check your clearance. Maybe you just wanna inch up your vehicle while in your driveway. So it is a handy feature, but another one that you need to be careful with because it could involve somebody's safety. But these are features that will help you enjoy your vehicle more. Now let's go over to some of the last ones. So the next thing we have here is auto passenger heated seats. When you have your automatic heated seats enabled, when the temperature outside drops below 40 degrees, your heated seats will automatically turn on. And then you can also have your passenger seats automatically turn on. But since it is not below 40 degrees today, what I can show you now that that's enabled, when we turn on our vehicle, and then we go over here to our heated seats. As soon as we turn on our driver's side seat, you can see that our passenger side seat also automatically turned on. Now, the next thing we have here is brake pulse. This controls your third brake light and we'll do some B-roll, I'll set up the tripod and, and show you a few examples, but I'll just run through the menu. So your first option obviously is off. When you turn that on, you have different speeds, which you could have fast, medium, or slow, as you see here. Next, when you go through, you can see your different pulse numbers. This goes in increments of two, which you can see, you can go all the way up to, I believe, 20. I think that's the top one, yeah. So if you have pulse brake number on zero, it will essentially be off. So make sure it's anything above zero. So you could go two all the way up to 20, and that's how many times it will pulsate. After brake, pulse or pulse break. Uh, that's actually the end of the live settings. So those were some of the live features in the Taser JL. And there's some really cool ones, some really good ones that will help you enjoy your driving experience more. If you like this video, please leave us a like and be sure to subscribe. We have many more videos coming out with a ton of new features that we wanna highlight as well. Also, if you have any questions, please leave those below in the comments and be sure to stay tuned for the next one.